Imagine this. You're walking down the street on a regular day. The sky is blue. Birds chirp. Cars hum softly. The world as always feels still, grounded. But what if I told you that everything we know only feels still because the Earth is spinning beneath our feet at over 1,000 miles per hour? Now picture this. In the blink of an eye, Earth's rotation suddenly stops. Just for one second. Not an hour. Not a minute. One single second. Sounds harmless, right? But in that one second, the Earth as we know it would fall into chaos. Let's rewind. The Earth has been spinning since it was born, about 4.5 billion years ago. Like a perfectly balanced ballerina twirling through space, it rotates once every 24 hours, giving us day and night. This motion, silent and invisible, holds more influence than we realize. Every structure, every ocean, every tree and every human is moving with the planet, held by friction, gravity and momentum. In fact, at the equator, you're cruising at around 1,670 kilometers per hour, even if you're just sitting still. But we don't feel it, because everything is moving in unison, until it isn't. Now, let's drop the hammer. The Earth stops spinning, instantly. No warning, no slowdown. Just stop. What happens next? Well, you don't stop. None of us do. Everything that's not firmly rooted to bedrock, people, animals, cars, buildings, oceans, the very atmosphere itself, keeps moving eastward at over 1,000 miles per hour due to inertia. You're suddenly a missile. So is your car. So is your coffee table. So is every drop of water in the ocean. In less than a second, entire cities are flattened. Trees, skyscrapers, homes, all swept away like paper in a hurricane. Anything not anchored deep into the planet's crust becomes airborne or pulverized. And that's just the start. The oceans don't just sit still either. They surge. Gargantuan walls of water taller than skyscrapers rise and hurl themselves inland. These aren't tsunamis as we know them. These are inertia-fueled mega-tsunamis sweeping across continents at impossible speeds. Coastal cities vanish. Entire nations drown. The skies grow wild. With the atmosphere still moving, 2,000 Kelimalay winds scream across the globe. Concrete crumbles. Planes fall. Forests are uprooted. Fires ignite from the sheer friction of wind hitting land. It's like the earth is being pressure washed with invisible blades. But let's say somehow you're underground, protected, and you survive the initial one-second apocalypse. Now you face a dying world. Without Earth's spin, we lose the Coriolis effect, the force that drives weather systems. Storms cease to swirl. Winds die down. The climate begins to collapse. But it's worse than that. The Earth becomes tidally locked, just like the Moon is to Earth. One side of the planet will face the Sun forever, baked in eternal daylight. The other side plunges into eternal darkness, frozen solid. The equator stretches, the poles sink, and our perfectly roundish planet becomes misshapen. Oceans migrate toward the poles, flooding new regions, drying others. And with no rotation to generate the magnetic field, the Earth's shield is gone. Solar radiation floods the surface. Satellites fry. Communication breaks down. The beautiful auroras vanish and so do the protections they offered. Our planet becomes exposed to the vacuum of space, to solar winds, to cosmic radiation. Could anything survive such chaos? Some extremophiles, microscopic life that thrives in boiling vents or frozen wastelands, might hang on. Maybe some deep sea creatures, insulated from the surface horrors. But civilization as we know it, gone. No crops. No power grid, no stable climate. Humanity would be driven into caves, seeking shelter, relying on what little tech they could keep alive. Survival would become primitive, and emotionally, we'd lose more than infrastructure. We'd lose rhythm, 
the comforting rise and fall of the sun, the heartbeat of time itself. Days would become meaningless, life unrecognizable. Could the Earth actually stop spinning? The real answer is not instantly. Over billions of years, Earth's rotation is slowing down, thanks to the Moon's gravitational pull. A day today is slightly longer than it was millions of years ago. But the process is extremely slow. Fractions of seconds every century. An instant stop? Impossible, by natural means. It would take an external, unimaginable force, something we've never seen before. Like a planetary collision, a rogue black hole, or some colossal cosmic event. But thankfully, that's the stuff of sci-fi, for now. Still, it's humbling to realize how much we rely on something we never think about. The Earth spins, silently, faithfully, giving us time, motion, balance and life. It's easy to forget the miracle beneath our feet, but if it were to pause, even for just one second, it would remind us in the most violent way imaginable that stability is precious, that movement is life, and that this planet, this tiny spinning marble, is more fragile than we ever imagined. This video isn't meant to scare, it's meant to ignite wonder, to make us all look at our world a little differently, to appreciate the invisible forces that hold our lives together, and to marvel at the delicate dance of the universe. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this journey into the what if, consider subscribing for more deep dives into the strange, the scientific, and the spectacular. Stay curious, stay grounded, and never stop spinning.